talking about? JT? JT. Who? JT. No, it's a female. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> but I, uh, she called, he said, my my stuff is something. They, it's a little snatch. She, a uh, little cliche she say mm -hmm. with it. The dark skin girl, dark skin. fat. Yeah. Not fine. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess. No. I can't get her name. It's something about her, cause her coochie. Suki with, with the good coochie. Oh. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. How you know? Oh, man. I'm mm. drinking. I ain't got it yet, but I dreamed it. Oh. Well, would you want to come back behind so many men? Ooh. First and foremost, um, Mama D is a good example of one of those, um, I'm going to just say it, a retired whore. Um... I, it is what it is. Um, I'm one of those people that, you know, don't believe how you hear people say, um, well, that's somebody mama and that's a woman of age and this, that, and the third. Look, we both, I think we all can agree. Um, mama D is grown and Suki Hana is grown as well. Suki Hana won't bother in that lady. Okay. That was unnecessary for her to make that remark. That's basically picking a fight. I believe that, you know, um, people just need to stay in their lane, okay? Um, neither one of them can point the finger at each other. Mama D talking about somebody body count and, you know, this, that, and the third. In a nutshell, you're basically trying to say she's been passed around. <sighs> but my thing is, is this the same lady? That used to pimp people out back in the day. Like, okay. And for the people out there that say you called her a retired whore. Well, she used to pimp out, you know, how people say, um, that's somebody mama, this and the third. Well, she used to pimp out somebody daughter. She used to pimp out people daughter. Okay. Um, to be honest, deep down, I don't know if Mama D is really a good person. To be honest, deep down. Um, I don't know if she acts that way for entertainment or not. I mean, can we all be honest here? When have we ever seen Mama D do something nice for somebody just because? Or when have we ever seen her just be kind? Think about it. You know, entertainment or not, even off the camera, even when they are just like unopposed, like family events, like there's not even um publicized that weren't even even that weren't even on love and hip hop or you know just T V in general. When have we ever seen her just do something um kind? You know, the further the closest I think we've ever come to that is when she came to Shea Baby Shower. And I was reading in the comments where some people were saying she did that for clout. <sighs> some people were saying that she did that just to throw off on Bambi. And to be honest, can we say that she didn't? I mean, would we be going out on the limb by saying she was doing that to be messy? Um, Mama D is a good as she's one, you know who Mama D remind me of? She remind me of one of those church ladies that you know how the church. Um, I know we all know her people say a lot of churches have um older deaconess and missionaries and apostles that are basically, you know, they sit in the pew and they have are so snobby with their nose up in the air. And I've heard of most people say a lot of those women are retired whores. They forget that they used to be young. They forget that they um, have a lot of mileage on their poo-poo. Mama D remind me of one of those people. Because you could say you pimped out a um, young girls all you want to. At the end of the day, will we be going out on the limb by saying... Um, you probably will ran through as well. Um, I'm just being honest. I know this about to sound effed up, but she looked like, you know, she looked like, I'm not even going to say what I'm about to say. Um, Cause that's real mean, but <sighs> mama D, I'm going to just say it like this. Mama D don't look healthy. 
Um, to be honest, she never looked healthy to, healthy to me. Um, and I'm going to just leave that there. I'm not even going to say what I want to say. Um, I'm going to just leave that there. Um, in the interview, she didn't look healthy to me. If you get where I'm going with it. Um, and I'm going to just leave it there. Um, Mama D is one of those people that she starts mess so much that when something traumatic happens in her life, it's hard to even feel bad for her because she's always getting involved in other people's lives. It's hard for you to even like, you know how people say my heart goes out to you. It's hard for you to even scary up a F-U-C-K. Like, I'm trying not to be mean, but I just don't like no nosy person that always in other people's business. Like, how she always adding her two cents in something. Like, she can't never just, and she can't say, oh, it's just with my kids. Um, I, I'm going to be all in my son's business. She's like that with everybody. Like, why can't you just play the background sometime? Um, and I believe that's who she really is as a person. As we saw, again, we she was at the Shea Baby Shower. I think that was messy. Because Bambi has said herself, she does more for a Shea um, child. She comes around them more than her own grandchildren. Okay, um... It seemed, and to be honest, it seemed like to me, whoever Scrap don't work out with, it seemed like to me, she gets close to them after they break up. I noticed that. I don't know if I'm the only one that observed that. For example, she couldn't stand Erica at first. Once her and Erica um weren't together no more, now all of a sudden, they was getting along. Okay, Erica Pinkett, um, she was getting involved with that. But I think she kind of liked Erica Pinky. Pinky, whatever her name was. Okay. Um, who who was the other one? Shay. I think she liked Shay as well. Um, she got even closer to her after they um didn't work out. Her and Bambi. God forbid her and Bambi, him and Bambi, uh, Scrappy and Bambi don't work out. She probably get close to Bambi. You know, um, she keeps a lot of mess going. You know, it's kind of hard for you to even, and she's, uh, I'm not going to say that. I'm trying not to be mean, but it's, it's not, it's not giving her age. Um, it's not giving her age. Now, I'm going to say this. Now, I'm going to say this, right? Um, Suki Hana. Okay, I like Suki. I'm not going to lie to you and act like all her music is whack. I'm not one of those people that say her music is so vulgar. Who listens to it? I listen to it. I'm not going to act like I don't listen to Suki music. Um, I have her song um, on my Spotify where I'm um, like, but um, dum 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 um, I think it's called Get Low. I have the other song where she said, I got um 13 inches of acres of throat or something she said. I got that on my um Spotify as well. I have the um what's the one where she said um somebody she was in the second grade and she and she couldn't read or something she was saying and she said, but I can count money though. Um that's three songs right there. I have the one where she said, um I only F with the, the drug dealers, the kingpins, and sometimes the nin nin the nin nin. Um, that's four songs right there. I might be saying her lyrics wrong. Um, what's another one I like what she's saying? Um, the Grinch. She's like long hair, pretty face with a fat on it. Let me eat my attach. Like, um, how many I say? Like, I'm telling you, I, I like Suki Hana. Uh, I like her music. So I'm not going to downplay her music. Um, but with that being said, first of all, I need her to stop doing that dumb walk she be doing. I think somebody told her it's cute. Um, it looks crazy. Okay. Um, it's not cute. 
that's just my opinion. Um, I know some people in the comments be clowning her. I'm not going to do all that, but I, I watch it and I, and I, um, say to myself, you know, because I'm one to not like speak my mouth on what somebody do because it's a lot of stuff that people may say about me that they don't think is cute. Um, like for example, um, I've had people tell me, um, what's it? Oh, some of my sunglasses I wear look crazy. I've had people tell me stuff like, um, what's another one? Um, people, a lot of people tell me about, um, the sunglasses are a big one for me. Um, I've had people tell me I wear too much pink. Um, they say it's way too much pink. I've, you know, but. I've had people tell me, um, there's some, some odd looking shoes or, you know, so we all have little stuff with us that make the person, um, may make the person say, the average person say, what the hell, you know, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, like I'll give you another example. One time I was somewhere and somebody said something about my sunglasses. Um, my, my sunglasses look crazy and did it. I heard over what she said. And then when I came up to the front. She had, I guess she called herself calling me out on it. And I told her, I said, well, you calling me out about my sunglasses. I'm not saying nothing about your gut overhanging your belt or your pants. That look nasty. It's, it looks bloated. It looks crazy. Even as a big girl, I never would have had that hanging like that. Like this, that looks terrible. And she got mad, you know, so. We all may do something that the next person may say, yuck, or that looks crazy, or um, we all may have something. So that's not for nobody to really, you know, um, say. So back to, going back to Suki, um, I don't like the way, I don't, I don't think it's um, becoming of her to walk that way, but that's not for me to, Suki, you need to start walking that way. That's not, I can't tell her how to walk, you know. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to sit here and act like she don't have no good box. She do. And that's my opinion. Some people may think it's nasty music. I don't think so. I think it's kind of catchy. Now, do I see her music standing at the, uh, the test of time? No. No, I don't. Um, I don't. I think, to be honest, um, I think she's a little Trina. Um, Trina Jr. You remember how Trina was back in the day when she first came about? I think she's a little mini Trina. Um, the genre of music that they both rap or sing or whatever is similar. Um, Trina, I have her music in my playlist. Um, Baddest Bitch. Um, Don't Trip with her and Trip Daddy. Uh, one of my favorite songs by her is Phone Sex. Um, I play that all the time. Um, what's another one? Um, what's another song I like that she sang? Um, I got a thing for you, baby, you know. And y'all already know I'm a fan of Keisha Cole. Um, was that her and Keisha Cole? Um, I think that was her and Keisha Cole. Um, yeah, I think that song came out when I was in the fifth grade. Was I in the fifth grade or the fourth grade or the sixth grade? I can't remember. It was elementary school, but, um, yeah, so we, I'm not, I'm not about to, I'm not about to do that. I know some people were saying in the comments, they were writing her by her music, whatever. Like I said, um, we all have an opinion and if we really going to be honest, in my opinion, Suki got more hits than her own son. Not to throw Scrappy in the mix, but I'm just saying. He ain't got nothing to do with this. This is mom and everything. But if you're going to downplay anybody, I'm just saying, um, downplay somebody that ain't really constantly still working. You know, if you're going to do it, because we still see Suki. We still see her on appearances, um... I, I keep up with her music, you know, so she got fans out there. You know, I'm not a diehard fan, but 
I do listen to her music. So, you know, she got she got people out here that support her. So it is what it is, but um essentially, um this is giving I want a storyline. I want to be on the next season of Love and Hip Hop. I want to be, um, make sure y'all call me for a call back when y'all start filming or whatever. Um, this is giving this because, to be honest, what reason did she have to come for this girl? Like, really, okay? Mama D, you have done things that people can frown on. Um, your son has done things that people can frown on. Come on now, this is old bird behavior. Uh, we all have something or somebody we don't care much for, or we wouldn't we wouldn't give the time of day, or even you know we all have something that we just ain't checking for. Um, we all have something we ain't checking for. Like I'll give you an example. You talking about other people. And like yo, and I used to hate when she used to act like her son was just God's gift to the world, because I don't care what nobody say. Me personally, if I was Bambi, I wouldn't have wanted him after I saw him and Erica Pinkett getting, you know, go at it. That's just me. I wouldn't. I don't care. I'm like this. I'm the type of person that, um, I don't know. They said she came at him, and he was just, um, if I'm not mistaken. She threw a drink on him or something, and he just assaulted her. You know, uh, I've never been the type of woman to, like, hit on guys because, for one thing, we know we cannot beat them. But I've had guys come at me, and I've had to protect myself, or I retaliated. I've had that, but I'm not the type that's just going to go walking up to a man, throwing a drink on him, or hitting him. You know, that's never been my thing. But if you come at me, I will retaliate, or I will defend myself. Um, now, with that being said, from what we was told, remember that time they was like in a restaurant or something, and they had words, and she started calling, saying, violence, violence, and um, she, I think she had threw a drink on him, and that's thing we know we heard some movement, and the cameras went black, but from what I was reading, that's because he was on probation, you know, she could have had him arrested for that, because like I told y'all, from what I was reading, when they on these TV shows, they do sign contracts that, like, they they can't sue production and stuff like that. But also, from what I was reading, it's a flip side. Things can only go but so far. Like, okay, you could throw a drink or y'all may have a little scuffle, but you can't, like, not uh, Tommy, you can't pick up a knife and stab somebody. Not She didn't stab somebody, but I'm just using that for an example that if it had went that far, I don't think that contract is going to cover that, okay? Um, now, with that being said, I'm just using that to paint a picture. We all have something. Like, to be honest, to me, I wouldn't look twice at your um, son because he's not my type of guy. He has mentioned before he's a felon. I didn't see him get physical with a woman. All that skin naive and the weed of the like, and the skin you know? To me, it sounds crazy. Like what are you talk what are you talking about? What are you saying to me? Um maybe and I think that's the way he really talked. You know how you could tell when somebody putting on the front, um, you feel me, you know. Eh, talk. What are you what are you talking about? Like I, it's not nothing I would want, but I'm sure I won't I'm not nobody he would want. For the most part, every girl we see him with is skinny. They kind of thin in their own right. Um, we all have something that we can look at a nurse person and say, nah, I'm good. You know, um, it just goes to show just because you have an opinion or we all have preferences or, we, you know, we all may feel a certain way about a topic. That doesn't give us any right to voice how we feel unless, you know, we put in a situation to voice it. But that don't, you know, that's why I say either she was trying to be funny when she got up here and said that, or she trying to get on love and hip hop again. You know, um, it's giving, it goes home, be a grandma, sit down. You ran a good race. Uh, we know who you are. 
Well, we heard Mama D, we already know who you are. You are very much relevant. Years after the original Love and Hip Hop, we still know who Mama D is. You definitely went down in the books um, of reality television royalty. I will give you that. Um, reality television royalty. Um, I don't care what nobody say. Love and Hip Hop is a classic. Love and Hip Hop ushered in a new way of um, television. Um, but like I always say, we have to pay homage to where it's due. But because before it was love and hip hop, it was flavor of love, a chance of love. I love New York. You know, um, they are the originals. Ratchet TV. Okay. But um, that's a different type of ratchet TV. It was like a love game show. But um, it's still, we have to, I always bring up those type of shows. Because if it wasn't for those type of shows, you know. Ratchet television would, you know, I don't think it would be the same. Um, now, with that being said, I want Mama D to stop picking as if you don't have a past, as if we don't know what's in your closet. You And you just telling us certain things, imagine the certain things that you have not told us. Because I don't care what nobody say, everybody got stuff that they do not publicize, okay? Um... To be honest, I don't think Mama D looked that clean. Okay? So just like you talk about her and how her body count and this and that, like as if you know her body count, you obviously are making an assumption, right? Okay, I'm making an assumption of you. I don't think you look that clean. You don't look like you wash your hands. Okay? So you, you see how that's an assumption that's, you know, we all have an opinion. I don't know if you wash your hands this morning. I don't know if you took a shower this morning. Mama D looked like, to me, she looked like one of them people that don't take a bath, just put on perfume and call it a day. That's, she, that's, what, that's my opinion. That's the vibe I get from her. Okay? Do you see how I can make an opinion, an assumption, just by looking at you? Okay? Or the way you act sometimes, you see how that doesn't even relate? The same way you're making an assumption on her body count. You don't know. That could just be entertainment. That could just be something that she um, has put in her head like, damn, as we've all heard sex sales. Since the beginning of time, um, people want to see a lot of, um, they want to hear a lot of junk. Basically, they want to see a lot of garbage. And how do we know that's not something she put in her head and say, you know what, I'm making a lot of money off of this Suki Hana character. Because as we all know, her real name is Destiny. Okay, how do we not? How do we know that that's just a front? That's just something that she does just to pay the bills. How do we not know that? Um, now, do I think that's who she really is? To be honest, yes. But I'm just giving her benefit of the doubt because it's, I don't believe twenty four seven that you are a Suki Hana all day every day. I don't think so, because I always like to relate it back to how people, um, especially when I know for a fact they have children, I'm going to get props where it's due. We don't hear nothing about her being an unfit mother. Um, oh, and that's another thing. Scrappy has a lot of resentment in his heart. Oh, let me not even start on that. Oh, well, I forgot all about that. How he said um, how she was as a mother. Do I really need to rise you off of that? I mean, because I, I could rise you off of that. Okay, I could read you for filth on that. Because that boy, we don't even see Scrappy like that. And he was hurt. I might do a video off of that because, like I said, going back to this, uh, the subject with Black China and uh, her mother. Okay, you got to tell that to somebody that ain't been through nothing. Because a lot of y'all unfit mothers, Get up here like y'all shit don't stink. Okay. You got to tell that. I can see through all that. You got to tell. I'm going to leave it right there for now. But you got to tell that to somebody that ain't been through nothing. Because y'all terrible. But I am I forgot all about it. That's going to be a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Because Mama D, I think she forgets sometimes. We remember her telling us some of the, the little nasty, common, um, downright wrong things she has done. 
and putting it on and just putting it in the atmosphere how she done pimped out them girls and how she used to send them in the field. Okay. I'ma I'm a I'ma I'm get you I'ma um I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a have to do a video on that. Because I think she forget I'ma just say it. I think she forget her shit stink. Okay. She gets up here and act like she's so holier than now on this fake horse in this fake land that she's developing her brain. Okay. For the most part, we don't hear nothing about Suki being an unfit mother. Not once. She may talk about this and talk about that and other garbage that I listen to, just saying. But still, you know, um, I like her music. I'm not gonna lie. But with that being said, you can't you can't do that. And I'm gonna do a video on that one day. But um, yes, ma'am, we don't hear Suki um we don't, you know how some of these singles we hear about their family saying, you ain't can't make out your child and da-da-da-da. We don't hear that about Suki. Not one story. But you know what we do hear? Scrappy talking about how you didn't do right by um, him and his sister. But we that's going to be a whole nother video for another day. But for the time being, I'm going to need for her to sit the F down and go be a grandmother.